Nine cases of excessive force in Orlando have the mayor promising changes to protect the public. He unveiled a sweeping new plan at his state of the city today to beef up training and aims to reduce the number of complaints about police use of force. West News' Greg Fox is live in downtown Orlando. And Greg, the changes come with the promise of more body cams. Uh, they do, and, and certainly people who are in downtown Orlando and some of the surrounding neighborhoods are familiar with the iris cams, which are up there on poles like this. We're right in front of the police department. It's near the Amway Center, and there are more than 100 of those around the city. But uh, Dyer made it clear today he wants to see more body cams on officers, and they'll have triple the number by the end of this year. An African-American man dies in police custody and riots cripple Baltimore. A black teen in Missouri is fatally shot by a white officer and Ferguson erupts. And an Orlando man is handcuffed, then appears to be kicked and punched by former Orlando police officer William Escobar. We take it very seriously when someone from our department violates that trust. During his State of the City address, Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer promised big changes to restore public trust after Escobar and three other officers were charged in separate excessive force incidents. It includes reviewing all current policies, launching community outreach programs, new training, and adding body cameras. Right now, the department has 50 cameras, and 100 more will be added this year. We believe we have a great police department that has good community involvement. We want to re-engage and make exactly sure that we are communicating and that we have a lot of outreach, that our officers are well-equipped and well-trained to handle any incidents. He is the mayor, and I support him. Chief John Mina told me he does not think the mayor is meddling in his business. He says he's working to change police culture. De-escalation and assessment, alternatives to arrest in certain situations, and just uh, we're also having the FBI coming in and do some refresher training on ethics and civil rights training with us. And the mayor at the end of his State of the uh, City address uh, told everybody that he's going to be running for a fifth term in office, and actually that means that the election that was moved from next spring up to uh, this November, uh, that would be, if he wins, a fifth term in office for Mayor Buddy Dyer. He says he just hasn't finished doing what he wants to do around the city, including adding 25 more miles of sidewalks in the city. Live in Orlando, Greg Fox, Washington News.